right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with lockable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. There was only one difference between growing up in my family and being an indentured deckhand on a fishing boat. <laughs> Grab me that sugar, would you, Louie? The 10 pound bag. I had more chores. Of all my chores, shopping was the worst. Oh, man, this is easy to clear, Kane. I'm a field. <laughs> Not only did it include all my least favorite activities, pushing, lugging, lifting, and walking, but we never got to buy any of the stuff I wanted. Attention shoppers, Louie Anderson, your mother is looking for you. Please drop the cookies and come to the front of the store. Really, Louie? Mm. What are the odds? Where are the cookies? Back in the store. Yeah, I saw you trying to sneak them into the cart. Come on, Louie, it's just five more bags. Why don't you ask him? I mean, it is his job. Thanks, lady. Have a yep. good day. Oh, that's Pete. He doesn't work here. Oh, really? Pete's just a nice man. He's doing that woman a favor, that's all. Kind of favor some kids should be doing for their mothers. Subtle mom. Hi, Aura. Need some help? Sure. Thanks, Pete, but we got it. How is everything? You know, getting better. You remember Louie? This is Louie? Wow, you've gotten so big. Thanks. I think. Well, we must be on the same schedule, Pete. I saw you here last week. Hey, say hi to Andy for me, would you? I will. Bye-bye, Pete. Hello. Who was that guy, Mom? You don't remember Pete? Such a nice guy. In fact, the day you were born, your father was stuck in a traffic jam and Pete drove me to the hospital. I thought I was born at the drive-in. Oh, your father tells all you kids that. Anyway, Pete's the one who put Dad up for the job at the factory. Oh, so he works with Dad? No, not anymore. He had to run a bad luck a few years back. Personal thing. Well, what happened? Oh, I, I don't know. You know me, Louie, I don't like to gossip. And besides, you can't believe all the stories that you hear. But you can still listen, right, Mom? It doesn't hurt to listen. These other uh, guys, I don't think. So, you couldn't even make it to the hospital for my birth, huh? Huh? I thought that was our little secret. Well, what else are you keeping from me? Oh, I forgot the butter. Louie, do me a favor. Take your bike back down to the store and pick me up some butter. What? Geez, I gotta do everything around here. Uh, run that by me again there, Sporto. I just spent an hour of my life grocery shopping. You guys got me working like a dog. I see. Uh, did you clean the garage like I asked you to last week? Not yet. Did you mow the lawn like I asked you to yesterday? I'm in the planning stages. Did you feed your fish today? He's fasting. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is... Go, Ryan, I'm going. Families. Who needs them? Cookies, Louie? You're gonna ruin your appetite. Huh? Look out, kid! Hey, hey. Gee, thanks. That was a close one. Are you all right? Almost tossed my cookies. It's perfectly normal to feel sick after a life-threatening experience. No, I mean these cookies. Here, have one. You shouldn't share cookies with strangers. It could be dangerous. Didn't your mom ever tell you not to talk to strangers? Of course. But you're not a stranger. Hmm, I live with stranger people than you. Okay, okay. So maybe I'll just have one. How cool is this? Well, it's not much, but it's home. Wow, you don't even have to make your bed. Nope. You got it made. Uh, sorry, I got carried away. You ate the whole box. Well, it has been a while since my last real meal. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you come over for dinner? I couldn't impose like that. Impose? You saved my life. 
Here's the thing, Lou. I'm not exactly thrilled with where I am in my life right now. I like your folks, Lou, and I don't want to have to lie to them. So don't lie. If I come over for dinner, they're going to ask all those questions I don't want to answer. Where are you living? Where are you working? What's that smell? I can't do it, Lou. But you're hungry, right? Hungry? I could eat a horse. Well, it's your lucky day. My dad's cooking tonight. Dig in, Joe. <laughs> Pass the horse meat, please. Hey, how many is that for you, Louie? I don't know, Dad. Who's counting? I am. Let's see. Two more for Louie. All right, I'll allow it, seeing as though you're going to do the dishes tonight. <laughs> it's Tommy's turn. Let me look at the tally here. Tommy had three meatballs, and you had 14. Uh, looks like you're scrubbing in at the sink there, dish boy. This is outrageous. I'm being punished for having a healthy appetite. Here's the recipe. Oh, these are great, Lou. Wow. Well, with Dad's meatballs, it's amazing what the human body can withstand. Mm. Let me just say one more time, Lou. Um, you really should never harbor strangers in your garage. You want one? Nah, I gotta do the dishes. My family's really putting me to work these days. I hear you. Families are tough. You mean you got a family? Where are they? For crying out loud, Louie, what are you doing out there? You got work to do. It's the boss, man. <laughs> gotta go. No, you can stay here for the night if you want. Really? Just one thing, you have to be gone by the time Dad leaves for work. Oh, I'm not exactly an early riser. No problem all. I'll take care of it. Oh, and Lou, uh, I like a good pillow. to work today, Louie. You know what happens when I'm late? You miss out on the free bagels? The whole factory almost shut down. Tractor engines went on widgeted. If you wanted to borrow the clock, all you had to do was ask. And you would have just given it to me? Not a chance. But the point is... Andy, telephone. I'll finish with you later. Honey, have you seen my goose down pillow? Wow, your dad sure runs this place like boot camp. You're not kidding. You know, we have to wear our dress whites on holidays. That's why I choose the open road. No rules, no worries. So, what's for dinner tonight? Let's see. It's Tuesday. Hot dog stew. Are they kosher? Does it really matter? I'm particular about my frankfurters. Hey, I did save your life, you know. Uh, I'll go check. <laughs> Is there any more stew? Help yourself, Louie. You know, I think this boy has a tapeworm. Either that or a wooden leg. He's just a growing boy, that's all. Maybe so, but he's growing in the wrong direction. One more time. Heat the pie. And then I want one scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of the pie and two scoops of strawberry on the side. Anything else? Yeah, you got a different blanket. I'm allergic to wool. You know, the Grunwalds down the street have a much bigger garage. I should have felt good. After all, I was helping someone less fortunate. However, my single act of charity had doubled my workload around the house. Here you go, Lou. Thanks a million. Uh, hey, Lou, how about a glass of water? I promised Pete I wouldn't tell Mom and Dad about him, but maybe there was another way to help him onto his feet. A little agua, huh? Hey, pal. And off my back. Pete, you gotta get up. Oh, just five more minutes. No, Pete. 
We got a chat. Mono a boil. You happy here? Uh, as a clam. Great. What I was wondering, and uh, please let me know if I'm on a line, but what do you do about money? That's easy. I don't have any. What about a job? Look at me, Lou. Who's gonna hire me? I'm a mess. True. But maybe I can help. I can't believe Dad wears these. Jeez! No wonder Mom fell in love with him in his uniform. See? I told you. You look like a new man. Yeah. A new man who got dressed with a blindfold on. I recognize that horrible golf outfit. That's Andy Anderson. Poor guy, down on his luck. And absolutely no fashion sense. How the job hunt go today? Eh, not too good. It's a tough market out there. But I gave it the old college try. I got something for you. Getting a job the hollering way. Never read her. It's full of great advice. Let's see. Oh, now, did you greet your interviewer with a sunshine smile and a firm but not threatening handshake? Every time. And you didn't get a single job? Uh-uh. No luck. Read the book. We'll talk later. I'm going to check out the classifieds. Try not to drip on the chair, okay? Mm, garage guests. Can't live with them. Can't recycle them. Hey, Dad. Can I take a look at the paper? What for? I'm trying to keep up on world events. Ah, oh, classifieds, huh? You're not thinking of putting me up for sale again, are you? There goes my master plan. What are you doing? That was Swan Lake. Change it back. Hi. Ernie I mean, Lowy, I missed the pirouette. Like a pirouette for you if it make you feel better. All right, let's see one. What? You promised me a pirouette, and I want to see it. Hey, that's not half bad. Dad, you're losing it. I'm just kidding you. Now, how about a plan? Gotcha, kid. <laughs> Right, that is Andy Anderson. Yesterday, he was at the bus stop. I had no idea they were having money problems. I have an idea. Let's bring her a bunt cake. You're sure it was him? Well, I'll ask. What's that? Yes, Dina. I'll remind him about the Christmas lights. Again. Hey, honey, how about a cold one? How was work today, dear? Fine. So, you were at the plant all day? What is this? An interrogation? No, it's just Dina Stillman said she saw you at the bus station yesterday, and Kitty Brunewald swore you were at Grace's Market this afternoon. Bunch of busybodies. That's what happens when you have too much time on your hands. You start hallucinating, and then you gossip about it. Uh-huh. Well, anyway, they brought us a nice bunt cake. Oh. Hey, Lou. Close game. Yeah. So, I was wondering, since we got a few minutes, how about we go through the classifieds? Whatever. Your house, your rules. Come on, Pete. It sounds like you don't even want to try. It's not like you never had a job before. You used to work with my dad. That's right. Twelve years I worked there. And then the company cut back. I lost my job. Hit the street and interviewed for every job I could find. After all, I had a family to support. So... What happened? A whole lot of rejection. So I stopped looking. I lost my house. I lost my savings. Lost my family. How do you lose a family? You know how you get report cards in school? Well, did you ever get a really bad grade, like a D or an F? And you had to bring that report card home, show it to your dad so he could sign it. You kidding? I tried to forge my dad's signature on those. Now imagine if it were the other way around. And your dad was in school, and he had to show you his report card. And now imagine, he shows you a report card every day. And every day, it's an F. Every day for three years. My wife took my kids to live with her mother in Chicago. I chose to stay. Hey, Pete. 
Thanks again for saving my life. And the score is still tied for a piece. Hi, Louie, the usual, huh? I'm a little sharp, Mr. Stevenson. Uh, just give me a half a dozen. Now, while you're at it, I'd like to inquire about the job. Now, Louie, don't start with me. You know I can't give you that job. Number one, you're too young. And number two, you're too, uh... I'm too what? Well, let's just say you like your donuts too much. I mean, you eat up all the profits. No need to be rude. No need asking for me. It's for my friend. Has he ever made a donut? I don't think so. Oh, sorry, Louie. I'm looking for an experienced donut man. Hmm. Hey, you hear about Ned's Donut Shop down the street? Uh-huh. They're doing amazing things with chocolate filling. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Just letting you know what the competition's up to, which is why I'm thinking of taking my business there. This is extortion, Louie. You got it. Pete! Hey, Pete! Guess what? I got you a job. And not just any job. Pete. Pete? <laughs> oh, Tommy, what exactly do you have there? It's my turn to keep the class guinea pig. What is that rodent doing on my table? You know I don't like to see my dinner before I eat it. It's not dinner. It's a class guinea pig. So it is. Sorry, Tommy. You know the rule. No pigs in the house. <laughs> don't say a word. That's just too easy. Mom, Dad, uh, I made a big mistake. I was irresponsible. I kept a secret from you. Uh, I was wrong, and, uh, and I'm sorry. Here goes nothing. Uh, well, what am I supposed to do with him? He'll just have to stay at somebody else's house. It's not fair! Mom, Dad, I made a big mistake. I was irresponsible. I can't even have one little guinea pig for a night, and Louie gets to keep a guy in the garage for weeks. You did what? I don't get it. He was right here this morning. I swear! It was Pete? Pete Lohman? The fellow who drove me to the hospital the day that I... Oh, for crying out loud! Am I ever gonna hear the end of that? It was a traffic jam. I was out of gas. I blew a rod. I just saw Pete at the supermarket. And that's where he saved my life. And now he's gone. All because of me. I nagged him about getting a job. Louie, regardless of what you promised Pete, you know you should have told us. I know. I did everything I shouldn't have done. That's right. And you're still doing it. You're feeling bad and blaming yourself, and you shouldn't. You did everything you could to help Pete. Yeah, everything except charge him rent. Hey! I've been looking for this. Eh, uh, you're a good kid. But next time, take your mother's pillow. I need my shut-eye. Louie, there's something here for you. It's from Pete. Dear Lou, just wanted to say thanks for everything. After spending so much time watching you and your family, I realized it was time to go see mine. I think I'm about ready to start bringing home report cards again. Take care, Lou. Your pal, Pete. Report cards? Now, what do you suppose that means? It means Pete's gonna find a job in Chicago. Louie, you do nice work. How about some lunch? I still have to mow the backyard. It's okay. You can finish your chores later. Mom, don't go spreading this around or anything. But today, they don't feel like chores. Of all the luck. Here you go, Andy. Cream of mushroom soup. Oh, well, I know you're having a hard time. So, I brought you some canned goods. What? I don't need canned goods. I need a quarter. Let's see. There's cream corn and artichoke hearts and peas and stewed tomatoes. That's real sweet. But the machine here doesn't take stewed tomatoes. It takes quarters. Good luck, Andy. For crying out loud, anyone got a quarter? Hey, you, buddy. I, I just need a quarter. Job. For a newspaper. Come on, help a guy out. Hey, what about you? Hey, trade some stewed tomatoes for a quarter. Two dimes and a nickel. Anything. Oh, what a world. Uh...